Cold brew is our favorite way to enjoy coffee in the summertime. So why not add to your summer cocktails? Whether you're celebrating Labor Day here in the States, the summer bank holiday in the UK, or Christmas time back in Australia. Today, we're gonna to show you how to make some of our favorite summer cocktails featuring Mr. Black Cold Brew liqueur. Cue the summer vibes. <laughs> Hello friends, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Stefan, and this is Mr. Black. If you're not familiar with it, it's a cold brew liqueur we've been making in Sydney, Australia since 2013. It's big on coffee flavor, not too sweet, just like the Aussies like their coffee. Well, today, we're gonna to show you how to make some of our favorite summer cocktails, starting with the easiest to make and finishing with a personal favorite of mine. So let's get started. There's no more refreshing way to take your coffee than over ice. So here's a spiked iced coffee recipe that couldn't be simpler to make at home. We'll start off with a tall glass, Collins glass, and add two ounces of Mr. Black cold brew liqueur. Once you've added your ice, you'll top up with your favorite milk or alternative milk. I'm using oat milk here as we feel the toasted oat flavor pairs beautifully with the expertly roasted Arabica and Mr. Black. No garnish needed, just a quick stir, and you're ready to enjoy. And there you have it, spiked iced coffee. Here's another super easy one for you. And it starts out the same way as our spiked iced coffee. We'll take a Collins glass and add two ounces of Mr. Black cold brew liqueur. Once we've added our ice, we're gonna to top it off this time with tonic water. Now I know what you're thinking, that it's really bitter, but it actually isn't. It's actually quite refreshing. And espresso and tonic has been a staple in cafe culture for years. You'll wanna make sure you add your tonic slowly. That way it incorporates well without too much fizz. And the garnish today will be a lemon peel. And there you have it, Mr. Black and Tonic. Give this one a go, I think you'll love it. it end up being one of your favorite patio pounders. Wait, wait, wait. Did somebody say patio pounder? Because here's our absolute favorite. We call it the Paloma Negra. We'll start this off in much the same way. I'm gonna build it directly into a Collins glass. In the glass, we'll start with one and a half ounces of Mr. Black. Then we'll add three quarters of an ounce of the tequila of your choosing or mezcal for a little smoky flavor. Then we'll add one full ounce of fresh ruby red grapefruit juice. Then we'll add our ice and top with soda water. I'm using Topo Chico for the bubbles. And we'll want to stir gently, not to disturb too much of the effervescence. And our garnish will be a half grapefruit wheel. And there it is, the Paloma Negra. All right, well, it's time to break out our cocktail shakers, because I'm about to teach you our favorite summer coffee cocktail the Margarita Negra. And the name alone, Margarita, should take you directly to a beach or a pool somewhere. Super refreshing. And the sign of a good one is that you can't just have one. So let's get started. Okay, there is one simple ingredient we'll need to teach you how to make before we can get started. It's called agave syrup. So simple, it's three parts agave nectar to one part water. You can use warm water to help dissolve, but you give that a stir in a container. And once dissolved, you let chill, and then go ahead and put that in a bottle, leave it in the fridge for the last two weeks. 
you don't have access to agave nectar, do not worry. We like the way this adds depth and complexity to the cocktail, but simple syrup will work just fine. All right, the first step to making the margarita negra is to prepare the glass. We're gonna use an old fashioned glass. You can use anything you have that's short and stubby. And the first step is to salt the rim. To salt the rim of the glass, you'll wanna take the end of a lime that you've used for juicing and just rub it against the edge of the glass. And then rub that edge once again in some kosher salt. And there you have it, a prepared glass. Now in your cocktail shaker, we'll go ahead and start to add our ingredients. One ounce of fresh lime juice. Then we'll add a half ounce of our agave syrup that we just made together. One ounce of your favorite tequila or mezcal. and one ounce of Mr. Black Colby Liqueur. Once all the ingredients are in the shaker, we'll go ahead and add our ice and shake to chill and dilute this drink. You'll want to shake for about 15 to 20 seconds extra hard to make it cold and frothy. After the shake, we'll go ahead and strain this right into our old fashioned glass and add some fresh ice. And there it is, the Margarita Negra, my absolute favorite cocktail. Well, that's gonna do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy some of our favorite summer cocktails and share them with your friends. And until next time, be well, drink great coffee, and be good humans. Cheers, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Follow us at Mr. Black Spirits on social media. Leave a comment in the comment section down below on a video you might want to see in the future. We'll be updating every other Friday. And click all over the screen for more great content. Cheers, y'all.